Welcome back to the Blur Lines of the Brainwash. Uh, thank you for joining me once again today. Uh, it's March. All about it. Hey, we're getting it in. Three months down. Still staying strong. Um, with that being said, I'm tired. <laughs> hey, so um, I want to take some time today to talk about rest. Um, individual, uh, it was funny too. Someone came up and was like, man, look, you, look, you ain't slept for like three days. But I'm like, yeah, you know, I just got a lot of my mind just trying to make things work. Um, you know, uh, still working on, you know, creating my uh, mental space. Um, still uh, making sure that I uh, every day I'm going towards my goal um, personally um, and um, going towards my goal as far as uh, business wise. Uh, I do feel good. Uh, school's still going good. But uh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been taking two of these uh, courses. And I'm telling you, taking two courses at the same time at this level, it's not the business. It's not the business. That's all I'm saying. But uh, it, it got to get done. It's uh, uh, This is what I want. Uh, this is what I desire. Um, it's going to... Uh, but it is but it is very enlightening, though. Uh, I'm not really feeling these during uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, studies. And I'm definitely not feeling this advanced statistics. Cause, uh, but it's all good, though. I'm making it work. But um, as I said, uh, rest is needed. Um, individual did send me a post talking about nine different types of rest. Um, so uh, one of the types is, you know, just take some time away. Um, I know that I do try that. Um, kind of just relaxing a little bit. Um, that's why I did take some leave. Uh, I did take some leave this week just to try to just get some time away from uh, get them time away from work to kind of just just debrief and just uh, relax a little bit, kind of just shed the skin, you know, just shed the skin, uh, sh shed the skin. Um, uh, another thing they have up here is uh, permission to not be helpful. Uh, that's really, uh, I learned that a long time ago. You got to learn how to say no to some people. Uh you got to learn how to say no to some people because you cannot just say yes all the time. You're going to people will run you in the ground. You got to make sure you look at your plate. If your plate's full, hey, currently right now, my plate's full. Now, if you want to take this, this and this off my plate, I'm all about it. That's the way that you can also get uh, get somewhere. It's just uh, permission to not be uh, be helpful. Uh, the third one is uh, uh, something unproductive. Uh, my uh, my opinion about that is. Uh, Pretty much do something that you like for self-care time. Um, something that may not have anything to do at all that uh, for your personal or business. Um, because a lot of times I notice, like for my self-care time, I will still be doing work. Like I say, oh, I'm going to take some self-care time. And then I'll start working on my next week's assignment. Or I'm like, hey, I'm going to take some self-care time. And I start reading a book that got to do with uh, how to uh, grow revenue. Um, yeah, so... Just find something, try find something to do that's actually unproductive. Just uh just kind of just to go out there and just relax. You know, just sit out there in the middle of the ocean. You know, uh go go swimming in a pool. Just just sit just sit down and sunbathe or something. I don't know, get some of that uh get some of that uh vitamin D. Not sure. Uh another one is connection to art and nature. That's another thing. That's what I was doing with Forever Emmanuel um for a while. That I was deep down in art. And I realized it was a lot more peaceful. And I know through some research that I've studied as well that when you're coloring, that's a good way to relieve stress. Um, so, you know, try doing that. Um, also, I do like uh, going on nature walks. I know, like, those long walks in the park and stuff like that sound like something off of during a date nap. But me personally, hey, doing them uh, long walks in, in, in nature is actually pretty fun. You never know what you see. You see squirrels out there playing tag and everything. Um You'll see deers. I don't play around with snakes, so that means that trip is over. I see a snake, so I'm 100% leaving at that point. Um, I can remember one time going out, doing a nature walk, and uh, uh, doing a nature walk with my, with my wife, and uh, we messed around and rode up on a buffalo in California. That was pretty interesting. Um, that was, yeah, that was 100% interesting. We thought we was about to get uh, charged on, but... Uh, Apparently, uh, he just kind of breathed hard at us, took a couple steps, and then just stopped. 
But uh, that was interesting. But uh, yeah, uh, nature walks. That's always fun. Uh, take a solitude to recharge. You know, just take some time to just, you know, maybe you want to just sit in the dark and some candle. Oh, my homeboy said he, he likes to... Uh, he likes to do that uh, that candle. Put, he likes to use like uh, put some uh, essential oils in the in the bathtub, and um, he'll go ahead and uh, put some uh, candles and um, put some uh, essential oils in the bathtub. Uh, he'll put some candles around it, and he kind of just sits back there and just listens to jazz. So I know that's one of the things he likes to do. Um, I thought he said he was doing that for his girl, but. Uh, he was doing that for himself. You know, hey, whatever works for you, I'm all about it. Um, but I know that that is, uh, that is actually very soothing as well. Um, as long as no kid comes and knocks on the door or something like that. So just, you know, be mindful of who's home. Um, yeah, because everybody always wants something. You got to make sure that you when you create these space and you're trying to get some rest, make sure you have uh, a time allotted for that and let everybody know you that's in your circle that could possibly uh, interject that. Uh, just make sure all your precautions are taken in order to ensure that you're able to utilize this rest. Um, you know, take your cell phone. Don't put it on vibrate. Put it on silent or cut it off. Um, let everybody, um, let your kids know, let your spouse know, hey, I'm taking an hour, taking two hours, taking three hours, however long it is to yourself. Y'all can put your timers on. I'm going to put my timer on. Let's link, uh, let's, let, let's go ahead and synchronize these watches. Synchronize these phones real quick. And uh, until this phone goes off, do not disturb me. Like, you know, let people know. Um, you know, it has on here also, you know, take a break from responsibility. That's awesome. Uh, that pretty much alludes what I just said before. It's like, you know, taking a break from responsibility. Being an adulting sucks. Like, you know, when you was a kid, well, I remember when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I can't talk to everybody. I'm an 80s baby. So um, I remember being a kid, like, I couldn't wait to grow up. Hey, I get out of my parents' house, have my own car. Um, I can go ahead and have my own place to stay, do what I want to do, stay out late. Man, I don't remember staying out late. I don't remember staying out late in my college years, maybe. Now that that was, uh, well, actually, I'm still in college. But the whole point is, um, yeah, my 20s. Like, it was a couple it was a couple nights in my 20s. I had a nice little, nice little spree in my 20s for about six months while I was staying out late. But after that, that was it, man. I was like, that was it. Because I don't care what you what you say. Well, shoot, once you hit 30, that's it, man. I ain't trying to stay out late. I'm trying to go to bed early. I'm tired. But um, it just it just really depends, you know. Taking a break from responsibility is awesome. Um, just being able to just have the opportunity, um, like for example, with me right now, like I said, I went in and took some leave. Um, you know, I'm just out here, just just I'm forcing, like I it's like I'm forcing myself to not do no work. Like I'm literally just uh, sitting sitting that place, sitting down in 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 the office, and just staring at the TV. I'm like, hey, my timer didn't go off, so I'm not doing any work right now. Um. They also have on their stillness to de uh, stillness to decompress. Um, that's uh, that you know I can kind of equate that to kind of just sitting in the dark, um, just allowing your thoughts to fill the room, just getting them out, get them outside of you, and just allow your thoughts to fill the room. You kind of just taking some deep breaths, doing some meditation. Um, they have on here safe space. I remember talking about that earlier. Um, actually, I believe that was last month I was talking about as far as creating a safe space. Well, I was talking about creating a space, but of course you want the space to be safe. Um, and, you know, that's why a lot of people have offices and then you have the theater room and then you have the game room. Because when you go in those spaces, you know, hey, if I'm going to the game room, hey, I'm, I'm playing games. I'm not doing schoolwork in the game room. Hey, when I go in my office, 100 percent, I'm doing work. Um, that's why, like for me right now, it's a little difficult because like I kind of took my office and kind of tried to make it a man cave. And that doesn't really work for me because like even when I'm sitting down watching TV, in the back of me, I'm like, okay, I know my computer's right there. I should be doing some work. And so, you know, you might want to just kind of take a step back and just have like a safe space where you can actually, uh, that would be, a, uh, allow you to rest. Um, and sometimes you want to get some alone time at home. Um, like I said, that's back to that whole timer situation. So, um, make sure you get some rest, make sure you're taking care of yourself, make sure you're eating healthy, make sure you're exercising at least 30 times, at least 30 minutes a day for at least, uh, five to six days a week. Make sure you're doing all these things. Um, but for the most part, that's all I got. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling good, feeling great. Man, your boy on leave, just chilling. Uh, to be honest with you, I've I, I really just been trying to just force myself not to do work, but I'm still doing work. But I'm still, I'm a lot of, I'm giving myself uh, permission to just relax, take this time to kind of just go through and get things done. 
But uh, other than that, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. You're doing great. I love you. And uh, don't let nobody tell you different. You know, go forth and do great things. And I'm out.